guys, welcome to today's episode of the Brit Taylor TV. I am so excited to have you here. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, like, share, and leave your beautiful comments, and I'll be here to respond. Okay, today I'll be talking about how to deal with difficult clients. I know, I know everyone has those days when the clients are trying to get on our nerves. I'm sorry, clients, you guys are the best, but you know, sometimes it's so difficult. But there are very few tips to help you deal with clients who are very difficult. They're not difficult because they want to be difficult. They're just difficult because they don't understand what it is that you do as a business. Okay, so one, stay calm. Please stay calm. It took me a while to understand that I have to stay calm because sometimes I'm like, why are you being so mean? Why are you being so nasty? Then, yeah, I just got to understand that, okay? And this is not me trying to say clients are always right because I don't know, are they? <laughs> okay, but yeah, stay calm. Two, don't stop using ma and sa. They're your clients, you really need them, they're important to you. You do not want them feeling like you're disrespecting them. As much as you want to make your points known, you do not want them feeling like you do not respect them and that you're being rude. So please don't be rude to your clients. Please don't be rude to your clients. Thirdly, 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 understand them. Listen to their complaints. Listen to what they have to say. Sometimes it's just miscommunication. You need to know what it is they want. Okay, so I had a client recently who came and said, Oh, I want to do this, 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 this. And I was like, Okay, I wasn't I wasn't at the store. I had an assistant um, attend to her and they still was like, Okay, please, she'll be she'll be around in an hour, so please come back so you can tell her all of this. And because there's so much I can say as regards to this challenge. And two hours later she shows up, I'm here, and I'm like, Okay, we don't do this and we don't do this. There was, there, was, there was a period of selective hearing so she could hear me say that we do this so she came back after a few hours and said okay so let's get on with this and I'm like um no I said we, we don't do that and she was like no there's no way you said that if you said that I would have heard you and we went back and forth first like I said before staying calm it always always helps so back to thirdly, back to thirdly. you need to understand them you need to properly communicate to them if you don't understand what your clients want ask questions don't jump into conclusions but just in case the mistake has been made lastly prefer a solution move on from there fix it either make suggestions on what they should do or how you can help them do what they should do or just make it better okay so that's those are, those, those, are, those are like the first four steps to dealing with difficult customers or difficult clients or difficult lovelies. Okay, guys, it's been so good talking to you. I always love talking to you. And I say this all the time. I wish I could do this every day, but I can't because I have to do a couple of other stuff. Okay, please like, share, and leave your comments on the comment section. And please subscribe to my channel, Brit Taylor on YouTube and have a beautiful rest of the week. Mwah.